Our next storyteller admits that he has a hard time throwing things away, but says that he promises 2012 is going to be the time he starts using his eight-track player again. I bring you the technically savvy Min Lee. So um, coming from a fairly traditional Asian family, I didn't have a very westernized Christmas growing up. We didn't do the turkey dinners with stuffing and cranberry sauce. It was more of a buffet of Chinese slash Vietnamese food, depending on whether I was visiting my mom's side of the family or my father's. If it was my mom's side, there'd often be spring rolls. If it was my father's side, chances are there would be an entire roasted pig. And as we got older, uh, my sister would make a turkey, which was great because I wanted a turkey dinner, which went along with the spring rolls and pig. Um, and even then, we'd get KFC, for, I mean, we'd get gravy from KFC. It's really good stuff. Um, and however, Christmas was, as a kid was still about getting presents, lots and lots of presents, because my father has about 12 siblings, and my mom has four. So when we were growing up, my brother, my sister, and I would get a lot of presents from my aunt and uncles, and as we got older, they started having more babies, and we started getting less, and Christmas became more about simply being together as a family which became more true when I moved to Vancouver from Toronto, and it really did become about me going home to see my family. One, one thing uh, you should know, I'm gay, and I'm not telling you that because I like coming out to a room full of strangers. <laughs> it's relevant to the story. Um, so one Christmas home, I thought I'd tell my parents. I'd come out to my parents. Um, one afternoon, I was sitting with my brother, we were both at, our, um, at a table. We had our laptops. Um, he was doing something, I was doing something. Um, and I said to him, Ken, uh, I have something to tell you. Uh, he said, what? Um, okay, it's really important. You can't tell anyone. This, it's kind of a big deal. What? Um, you promise you, you really can't tell anyone. This is serious. What? I'm gay. What? Uh, I'm gay. You're joking. You're joking. No, this is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. No. I knew it. I knew it. I woke up, I, I woke up last night. I had a dream that you came to me and told me you were gay. And then, ha, huh, my sister-in-law woke up and, uh, and she said to me, what's wrong? And I was like, I dreamt that Min told me he was gay. And she just said, go back to sleep, honey. It was just a dream. And I was right. I knew it. I was right. I'm always right. <laughs> my brother was simply happy to be right. So he, he was fine with it. Um, so <laughs> I said to him, um, do you think I should tell mom and dad? And he said, no, 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 no. He was like, uh, Hong, my sister, uh, is already marrying a white guy in a, two months, so let them digest that first. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't want to overshadow that for sure. <laughs> um, so that Christmas, I didn't come out to my parents. But from that Christmas on, every uh, trip back to Toronto uh, has been about me taking small steps towards sharing a bit more about myself with my family. A little bit more every time I go back. Whether it be coming out to one more person or telling them about the crazy life I live in Vancouver by myself, it's always been about sharing myself somehow. Um, and in doing so, I feel more at home coming home. Thank you. <laughs>